Hello, happy July 1st. So I do have my foundation review today. I know it should be hair care, but I wanted to do this foundation because I'm super excited. Uh, but I'm gonna be showing you the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage SPF 50 makeup. So if you'd like to hear more about this and see my full review, because this is not a first impressions, application, wear test, all that jazz, then please keep on watching. Like it says, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty, so make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. I also do have an OnlyFans dedicated to this channel, nothing spicy. You can watch tomorrow's video today for free. There's chatting, and I'll also be doing live streams on there every Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Link will be down below if you'd like to check it out. Okay, so um, I've been using this for about a month and a half, and I did pick it up in the shade Natural Ivory. Um, it... I bought this on Amazon. It looked a little bit darker, but anyway, so this is formulated with antioxidants to help protect skin from environmental aggressors. And like I said, it is SPF 50 antioxidant enriched pr pollution protection. So anyway, don't let it kind of, I don't want to say fool you, but SPF 50 is really, really good, but it's going to be one of those things that you're going to have to reapply to get the full protection. I think if you like go to work in the morning where like the sun rays are like the worst, this will protect you on your drive or walk or bus ride to work. And if you get home later in the evening where the sun's gone down, you'll probably be okay, but don't expect this to be like your, you know, your, your SPF for the day because SPF does kind of dilute as time goes on. So anyway, I have my brows on because I always do my brows before I do foundation and I did my skincare. So anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and shake this up. You do get one fluid ounce, okay? And um, of course, I like my little Yeo Twin Puff. People always ask where I get them. I'll go ahead and link them down below. There'll be an Amazon affiliate link. Welcome to use it, but you definitely don't have to, but cat hair. <laughs> but I do probably about that much, okay? And let's go ahead and apply it. So it might look a little bit light at first, but this does oxidize just a touch. So just be aware of that. Okay, just bounce, bounce, bounce. I would say this does have pretty good coverage. Um, I don't know if it's like full, full coverage. I don't like to use a ton of foundation during the summer because it's just gonna sweat off. I am a sweaty Betty, so I, uh, yeah, I get very, very sweaty. But I would say if you use a small amount and you don't like go in with a ton, I'd say it's a good medium coverage foundation. It feels pretty light and it smells like sunscreen, which is to be expected. And this is a very dewy foundation. Um, so just be aware of that if you do have oily skin. Um, I do have combo skin and uh, the first few times that I wore it, I just used my regular um, Cody Airspun powder and I got pretty oily or dewy looking about four hours in. So just be aware of that. I know they have like a glow version, which I would even hate. Like for me, that would be not a good, not a good foundation. But. Uh, yeah, blends in easily, and you can see how much of a glow it actually does have. Pretty glowy. But, okay, there we go. Just blend it all the way down since the cover's a little bit off at first. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some concealer, and I'll go in with the powder that I'm really, really loving with this. But let me just speed through on my concealer because uh, nobody cares about that. It just needs some under eye coverage for sure. So I've had this on for a few minutes and it doesn't really dry down but the the powder I'm absolutely been loving, love this powder so much. The L'Oreal um, Pro Sweep and Lock. I love this stuff. I've been using it every time I wear foundation. 
Um, it has even helped with my uh, Physician's Formula Butter Foundation. That stuff was way too oily on me. This stuff, though, is awesome for a really dewy uh, foundation if you don't like that super dewy look. Um, this powder is great. Okay, sorry. Okay. Okay, foundation is set. Um, so, like I said, it will oxidize a little bit, um, but that is it for right now. Um, I think even with the matte powder, it still looks a little bit dewy on the skin, which I'm okay with. Um, I think if you have dry skin, you would really, really like the finish, just because it is pretty glowy. Let me go ahead and wipe the foundation off my lips, because uh, I don't like that look, personally. But I have other videos to film, I have cleaning to do, I have eggs to pill, so I'll be a little bit busy, but I will touch base with you here in a little while to show you how the Maybelline Urban um, Dream Urban Cover Foundation is doing, but so far with that powder, it looks really nice. I think it looks skin-like, but it gave really good coverage, and yeah. But anyway, I'll see you here in a little bit. Hello, so I am back. It's been about eight hours since I put on the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover SPF 50 foundation, and I have not retouched with powder or anything. And as you can see, I'm looking a little bit dewy, like on my nose, a little bit on my forehead, but I'm comfortable with this amount of dew. Um, I had to go out and run to the store really quick. Once again, we are in triple digits because I don't know why we have to be in triple digits, but super hot, and I did get pretty sweaty. So yeah, this foundation does hold up pretty well with sweat, and as long as I use certain types of powder, then it holds up as well with my natural oil. I think this is a really good foundation. I think if you have extremely oily skin, I don't know how much you would love this. I think if you have normal, dry, maybe even extra dry skin, I think the natural finish of this you'd really, really love because it is pretty dewy most likely from the SPF. Most SPFs that I've tried, they are oily. Maybe oily is the wrong word, but you know, they add a lot of extra moisture. Um, I think if you have combo skin like myself or um, oily skin, you're definitely gonna need your oil controlling powder uh, to go on top of this, but really, really nice foundation. Very, very lightweight. It's still, even though I'm looking dewy, um, yeah hardly any transfer, if any at all. I'm really, really loving this stuff. This does go on my caboodle um, because if I do wear a foundation, I'm wearing this right now just because I do like the high SPF. I do like that it does feel lightweight um, and it is really pretty coverage. Um, you can definitely build this to full. If I would have used more during application, sorry, I took off my earrings. <laughs> if I would have used more at application on my little poof, then I would have definitely gotten full coverage. The only place I put on concealer, as you saw, was my under eyes. So really good coverage, affordable, drugstore. I really, really like it. So if you can find your shade, I would definitely recommend picking this up. Um, as you can see, it did oxidize, maybe half a shade, so just be aware of that. I mean, like I said, this is number 112 Natural Ivory. Really, really nice though. And um, I'm enjoying this a lot for summer. I'll be definitely wearing this for 4th of July when I go over to the in-laws, and it's just really pretty. It can be definitely uh, zhuzhed up with more like dramatic makeup like I'm wearing today. It's also really pretty with natural makeup, so yeah, definitely, definitely recommend this. This is like pretty much an all-time favorite along with my Revlon Photo Ready, or Photo Candid, the Candid Foundation, love that stuff. This as well, this is really, really pretty, so definitely recommend it for these super hot, sweaty, super sunshiny months. Anyway, there we go. I will go ahead and link this down below. Um, they're always having sales on Amazon. Put it in your cart, save it for later, and it will kind of let you know when this does go on sale in your shade. But yeah, I'll link it down below. It will be an Amazon affiliate link. Welcome to use it. You definitely don't have to, but it's there if you want to. And 
Just so you know, I do have an eBay page where I sell discount makeup, beauty, skincare, all sorts of stuff. And I also have a little Facebook group where we kind of get together and we share good hauls, different looks, pets, all sorts of stuff. Those will be linked down below as well. And of course, you're more than welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all up with your glam babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start auto-playing here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a second.